everyone, my name is Ryan. Some of you know me as John Doe, right here in Japan. Now, apparently the Nuclear Regulatory Agency here in Japan has um, accepted findings by independent um, review or research uh, committee that the rea nuclear reactor at uh, Suruga is sitting right on top of an active fault line. Now, should we be surprised by this? Well, of course not. This is Japan. There's massive earthquakes happen all the time. So we shouldn't be surprised by that. But i tell you what's much more interesting with this situation. Not that they found one, but exactly which company it was and which companies it wasn't. Now, the company that owns this reactor is called a J Japan Atomic Power Company. They're quite a small energy company. They don't control many plants and things like that, so their political and monetary power and influence is a bit limited. So it's easier to go after them and get them to do the right thing and shut down a nuclear power plant sitting on top sitting on top of an active fault line. Now, the other bigger companies that will probably supply energy in Japan are Kansai Electric and of course TEPCO. Now what has been the reaction by these two companies for uh, wanting to review the possibility of active fault lines at their reactors? Well of course a total stonewalling of it. Constant resistance, right? They don't want anyone to get near their reactors. They don't want proper inspections to take place. And they use all their political influence and monetary power to get cooperation from the government. Now you notice they got these new standards coming out in July, right? Have you also noticed that the... Um, Energy industry in Japan has been a little bit silent about it all. When I mean, normally they're highly vocal. Well, there's a reason for that. Number one, things like this coming out, the active fault lines. And number two, we can rest assured that the government's cooperating with these bigger companies. And not cooperating with smaller companies. Ergo, you see a Japan Atomic Energy Company have to face the reality that they actually do have a nuclear reactor sitting on top of an active fault line, which definitely means that reactor can never be restarted and all the countless money got to be spent to shut it down and end it. But not these big companies. Oh, no. The other ones that don't have to deal with it because they got all this money behind them. So that's what we're dealing with here in Japan. We have a, a small energy company got busted a building a, on an active fault line while these larger companies are still getting away with murder. And for sure there's many other power plants nuclear power plants that is sitting on top of active fault lines. Because like I said, this is Japan after all. But are they being gone after? No. Do they contest any questions of their actions? Constantly. Do they get away with carte blanche attitude towards things? Yeah. So it's good that this um, nuclear power plant in Suruga has been exposed for sitting on active fault line and I'm sure it'll never be turned on again. But these big guys are still getting away with whatever the hell they want to do. So as where good news comes, remember, still a long battle ahead. Till next time, this is me, Ryan, checking out.